It's a love story, right? That's all it is. Yeah. Where do you go? You go to Queens to find the queen. That's right. <laughs> hey, Andy. <laughs> We've got fog out tonight. Drive safe if you have to be out on the roads. If you don't have to be out on the roads, stay in because this stuff is going to be with us through much of the evening. This is a live look for the Baylor Scott White Health Skyline weather camera and visibilities are pretty low along Highway 6 and I-35 as well. You're seeing a bit of break in the cloud cover. The clearing is allowing good radiational cooling to go on and that drops that temperature down to that dew point so we get the fog developing across the area with condensation going up. Cloudy skies are forecast for tonight. Cool and damp, fog reducing visibility is already likely to be with us through at least four or five o'clock or so in the morning. 50 the overnight low with winds out of the south tonight around 10 to 15 miles an hour. We should get rid of that fog and the cloud cover once we get the winds moving around to the northwest tomorrow. We should see the sunshine tomorrow. 66 for an afternoon high with northwest winds around five miles an hour. Today, mild temperatures in most cases. It made it 58 in Salado, our thanks to Tom Breeden and Robinson. Randy Vassar reporting a high temperature getting up to 66, and it was almost 70 out of Lamp Pass, 68 to high Joe Spivey's house. Right now, it's 55 in Waco, 55 in Marlin, 57 in Cameron out to the west. Pretty much the same story. We're all just sitting here with a very heavy moisture on us. 55 in Lamp Passes, 57 in Gatesville right now, 55 in Clay and Temple as well. At the airport overhead, bit of cloud cover down to the ground level. It's almost zero visibility in many spots. 55 is the air temperature, 96% relative humidity and very light winds. Tonight, look for overnight low of 51 in Lamp Passes, 49 in Burnett, 47 in San Sabo first thing in the morning. 50 in Waco, 54 degrees the overnight low in Marlin. 53 should be your low in Cameron. 56 first thing in the morning for Franklin. Grosbeck should make it to 55. Fairfield down to 57 first thing in the morning. Here's your Channel 6 seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. And yeah, we got fog tonight. Tomorrow's skies clear out. Tomorrow's kind of a, an in between day for us. Uh, transition, I guess you could call it, because we've got a very powerful front coming in on Friday. Big change in the weather with uh, a very large contrast. That's going to set up thunderstorms. Could see some severe weather on Friday evening and maybe even some heavy rain. We're going to go 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Friday with perhaps as much as an inch of rain. We think by evening it's going to be over with. Mm. Friday night, Saturday morning, looks like it's going to clear off. The rest of the weekend will be sunny. A bit breezy. Yeah. <laughs> Northwest winds I'm 20 waiting to 30 for miles an yeah. hour. Yeah, a bit breezy. Wind chills will be in the single digits mm -hmm. and very likely Sunday morning and Ugh. Monday morning as well. Very cold weather. Single digits. Up, single said. digits? Yeah. Wind chills. Wind chills. Yeah. That's Not actual air temperatures, wind chills. It doesn't matter to me, Andy. <laughs> but, but I get but what you're saying. Yeah. But certainly, uh, several hours of freezing conditions. So if you're going to be gone, mindful that uh, it's probably a good idea to <sighs> drip those pipes. Take, pipes, take precautions. plants. Don't leave your pets yes, out. Yeah.